David Amakobe. Karibu David. Habari yako? Anjema sana. Eh mimi nakuwa na unasikia tu. Rosemary ndo bari? Mzuri boss. Sasa <laughs> Wilson, sasa yeah. ndio boss, kita mimi boss. Unajua boss akikuita boss paka ukue na you must be a, your best behavior. Sasa mimi najua I'm dealing with someone here. Yeah. Hata mimi nataka niongee na yeye vizuri. <laughs> Kama yeye ni boss. <laughs> Yeah. It means all both of you are bosses. So how are you doing, man? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm trying to enjoy the summer weather. Kuku. That's good. Massachusetts. That's good. Yeah. Oh, you're in Massachusetts? Yeah. Yeah. That's where the technology comes from and spreads all over the world. That's Massachusetts, <laughs> right? <laughs> we try to share it as much as possible. Those who are yeah, I know. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is figured out in Massachusetts and this this spread all over the, the all over the world. So that's yeah. why we're here. Karibu, karibu, karibu. Where, where are you based? In Delaware. Oh, you are in Delaware. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we I mean, are uh, we are in the president's home. Ah, nini zaza ndio mnaka karibu na nini? Ikeda. Tunasema kwa kumaragoli ikeda. No. Where all the good okay, water yeah. comes from. Oh, 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 <laughs> this is unfair to DC. <laughs> we are the most DC has more population than you guys. <laughs> that should be the petition. <laughs> it's true. We have two senators, one congress congress lady and the yeah. president. Yeah. Yeah, out of a population of 960. Mm-hmm. See how fair the world is. The it's world not is fair. not fair. <laughs> Rosalind, I agree with you. <laughs> this world is not fair. No, don't look, don't look for fairness. The daddy, don't look for fairness. Uh, this, this world is um, mm-hmm. not fair and it's never been. I was just talking, yeah, it's, uh, we, we just have to get used to it. You just have That's to get true. used to it. Right? Mm-hmm. Are you joining us? Yes. Okay. You know, if you sit and think that the world is going to be fair, mm-hmm. it's not true. Like I was, um, we are looking and saying that the U.S. population is five percent of the world's population. Okay. The ninety-five percent of the people live out of, outside the United States, <clears throat> but we use thirty-five percent of the resources in the world. I agree. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and That's where, true. Where, where is the fairness? Eh? <laughs> I mean, if you are waiting for fairness, just see that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that we are five percent of the population. We use that five percent of the of the resources. Yeah. And ninety five percent of the people live outside us. And the problem is, half half of the population in the US do not know that ninety five percent of the people live overseas. They think how all can, of the people. How can they, they know if, when they have everything they need? <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody is rushing to bring everything else they don't have. It's interesting. It, that tells you, <laughs> yeah. you know, the potentials yeah. of these many other places. Yes, yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. And also, it gives us who know mm-hmm. a lot of um, advantages. You understand? Yeah. Uh, because if you know that most of the people who need to be served are outside here mm-hmm. and you are not afraid yeah. you know most of most of Americans are afraid of going outside the US yeah. yeah yeah that's true and they don't even know where outside is they don't know where outside is <laughs> so you can sit there and laugh at them or you can say okay I can help you hold your hand yeah yeah, uh, yeah. 
or even not hold your hand, just stay here and I'll do it for you. Yeah, that's why yeah. I tell people that Africa with 1.4 million billion people has huge potentials, huge yeah. oh, potential. Uh, essentially, we have the whole economy just within Africa. We don't even have to trade with anybody. Yeah. Just by ourselves, we have enough money and commerce to move us around and make us extremely wealthy. And us being here, mm -hmm. we get an advantage, okay? Yeah. We get an advantage because we can put on the American hat and we can move and put on the Kenyan hat or the other African hat. So yeah. we, we're more comfortable that way. But I think we have let um, our organizations like uh, the Council of Africa mm -hmm. to try to speak for us every time. You understand? Yeah. And the Council of Africa is a council of American companies which created it as an NGO. Yeah. It's speaking for African countries. Well, if you let them speak for you, they'll speak for you. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are four now. We are four yes. now. Is there anybody else coming from your side? Or is just the uh, At this time, we can just go and if they come, we can let them in. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh...